In a school district, the single most important stakeholder group is the student body, and at Folsom Cordova, students are at the center of everything we do. There are almost 19,000 students in the Folsom Cordova district. Each student brings their own passion, creativity, curiosity, curiosity and a unique perspective to school each morning. Academically, students at Folsom Cordova schools perform better than any of their peers in Sacramento County. At our elementary schools, students are encouraged to explore their curiosity. When I'm in the advanced learning program, I always try to go the next step every single day so I can get to my one major goal, to learn, learn more, learn most. My favorite subject at Mayfair Heights has got to be math. We do go more in depth with it. We j don't just say two times two equals four. We think, well, two times two equals four because there are two groups of two, and if you put them together, it equals four. Many elementary students participate in extracurricular activities. With everything I do here, it's, I can't wait for the next day. I can't wait, I can't wait. To be school president, it is such an honor because it gives you the chance to experience how it is in government. You make posters, you do your campaigning, come up with a speech that it will get you voters. Oh, I have this. Oh, I totally forgot. I have drama program. Oh, I have baseball. So it's always going more. They may be young, but they have a pretty good idea about what they want to be when they grow up. I would like to be a teacher because it includes many skills, learning how to teach children. I want to be an astronaut, first person on Mars to explore what I can become. I would like to be a singer or an actress because those are some things that are very close to me. It's been said that middle school is an important time of transition for young people. Students in middle school are even transitioning the way they absorb information. Now in flipping the classroom, what we do is that we get a video on how to start it, we learn how to do the unit, and then when we go into the classroom next day, we do the practice. And so basically the whole thing is opposite. Flipping the classroom, it's more efficient and you can do more work. Many of our middle schoolers are already thinking about what lies ahead when they promote on to high school. I'm planning on actually like studying more science like when I get into high school, I'm going to try to do really well in science and then when for my college plans, I want to go to UC Davis Medical School and then become a vet. I'm in high school, I'm looking forward to some classes that I can take that I can learn more and so that some of the requirements I need to get into college can be fulfilled. For our high school students, balancing schoolwork, athletics, and a robust social life is, is an, an everyday experience. experience. If you are involved in many AP classes, many honors classes, you can expect hours of homework each night. I did cross country and I'm also part of student government. Video classes, we have media, we have art, digital art. I'm a Visidalgo cheerleader. I've been on the varsity squad for two years now. I'm involved in a couple clubs on campus. It's not uncommon for a high school student to participate in more than one sport, as well as a club or two. Uh, most of my friends play sports with me here, and um, football and baseball, and sh my focus has to shift from uh, academics to athletics, and just I have to give it my all on the field. I think the biggest challenge is probably just the time in the day, like you have to fit academics and school and the social life and different school activities into your schedule and that can be really hard. And On athletics I spend approximately uh, 10 hours a week. Definitely balancing academics and athletics have, have definitely shaped me as a person and um, really shaped my priorities here. It's been a bit of a challenge but um, you know, I think I've kind of learned where I need to balance everything. Students here are proud of their school and remember fondly what they like best about it. Um, I think what I'll remember most is kind of the friendships made. I'm definitely going to remember drama, everything I did in the theater, all the shows. We invite students to explore their creativity, and Folsom Cordova boasts award-winning visual and performing arts programs. Drama is kind of where I started off and this has really kind of become my home here at Folsom High School. I've been in six shows here. The performing arts develop our students in ways that many of them didn't anticipate at first. It's a family environment and people accept you, they bring you in, and they're very personable and friendly. Departing seniors have some words of wisdom to bestow on the students that will soon take their place. Become friends with people that you're most, uh, you have most in common with. No matter what you do, you have to find something that you're passionate about. You have to spend your time doing something that you can see yourself maybe doing in the future or that's going to help you go somewhere further in life. Folsom Cordova is a place where students use many creative outlets to overcome challenges and achieve outstanding successes. Programs at Folsom Cordova are designed to build self-confidence in our students, showing them how much they can contribute in their own unique way. It's really fun 
sometimes it's, it can be stressful, other times it's really calming and relaxing. And the students at Oak Chan Elementary's Dragon Paradise Cafe are getting a jump on their development. My favorite part about going to Oak Chan is that we have a great time at school, we're in a good class, and we have a lot of friends. Uh, the Dragon Cafe has been around for a long time. What we do is we just serve the teachers, and I think the kids have a great time, and we ha I have a great time at least, and it's fun, and the teachers don't have to worry about getting up early in the morning and making their lunches. Today, folks, we're eating chili. Our question today is, would you like olives on your chili? Or would you like um, olives with your chili? Sure. I'm, I'm the drink tender. Uh, you uh, ask people what they would want for drinks, and the choices are lemonade, iced tea, or water. What would you guys like? We have lemonade, iced tea, or water? I'll some water, please. Yes. Would you like? I've um, done uh, waiter for three years and done house for one. Excellent. We raise a lot of money, and after the end of the restaurant, we the money goes towards our four-day field trip. From the athletic field to the choir stand, Folsom Cordova students are well-rounded in their endeavors. No matter which of the district's 32 campuses students come from, school pride is easily detected when speaking to our students. It's a special moment when you actually start your first year in school, or second, or the first day of your whole school career. Mather Heights is literally my second home because your friends become your family. It's very academically challenging and it also has a very good extracurricular program. The teachers are amazing, like the sixth grade teachers are mind blowing, but it's just really educational. I found it so comforting coming to this school compared to other schools. I have a lot of good people that I meet here. It's just really cool. Uh, what I like best about Vista is that everyone is, is you know, pretty much friends with each other. We all, we all pretty much know each other, and it's, it seems like a close knit uh, community here. It's really kind of a community aspect to it. Um, everyone knows each other, and the teachers are really friendly. I like the diversity that's here on campus, and all the opportunities that they give the students. The high school experience is has its ups and downs, but it's really amazing. I think Folsom High School really focuses on bringing their students up to par and teaching them to push themselves. It's a great school to be in. You feel in, like you can get involved easily and you feel like you have all the resources at the tip of your finger. And I just feel like it's an amazing place to go to school. Our students are the future and we can be proud of the character that they develop at Folsom Cordova Schools.